Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another ink comparison video and this is Green Inks Comparison number 7. So I think with that let's go and swab up some of these inks. So I get a lot of questions on how I do these ink videos. So I decided I would add this to the front of each of the ink videos. I put links in the descriptions, but I know some of you watch this on TVs or mobile devices, so you don't get to see this. So first off, the paper is the number one question that I get asked. What paper do I use for these ink comparison videos? So this is the original Tomoe River. This is 52 GSM and it is the white not the cream the white where possible i try to go for the white because the cream can actually change the color of the ink just a little bit so this is tomoe river 52 gsm in the white um a lot of people get confused as well because i have what looks to be a grid on this page and it's actually an oxford optic pad these are the pads that i actually use when i'm writing my uh, writing samples for pen reviews or in my currently ink so they have these little squares up here uh, i just use that because it's a good guide for me when i put this very thin sheet of tomoe river over i can actually see squares so it helps me write a little bit sort of straight uh, on the page not always but sometimes it does the, the other thing that I also have is a I have a bottle of water, plain water, and uh, I dip my nib in here. So for consistency, I use the same fountain pen, or <laughs> I guess it's not a fountain pen. It's using a fountain pen nib, though. This is a 3D printed pen from William Shakur in the UK. So he prints this uh, material 3d and it has a number eight size bock nib which i can unscrew and you can see there so it is just a dip pen holder for a number eight size bock nib and the idea is i want to have consistency with the writing sample so i use this i dip it in the ink uh, I write and then I will dip it in here and I will rinse the nib off several times and I will dry it and then at that point uh, I will then go on to do the next ink swatch and the next writing sample. So there you have it, that's uh, how I do my ink swatches. So I just wanted to show you uh, that here. Now on to the ink comparison video. So the first ink here on this ink comparison video is Diamine apple glory so i think let's do an ink swatch here and you'll see there that it's a quite a lovely uh green colored ink quite a bright punchy green uh that you can see there it is getting a little bit dry there um i will do a second pass on the top half just to show the difference between a, a wet or a broad and a dry or a narrow writing nib and this is a uh, diamine and it is apple glory but that is quite a nice green colored ink definitely one of my go-to greens that i like using if i want to use a nice green color the next ink here is Diamine Meadow, which also is another great go-to green ink of mine. So we'll do an ink swatch here. Now, the first thing you notice there is that although it does come off as a bit of a, a bright green, it's a very different, almost maybe a little bit more olivey perhaps. I'll do a second pass over the top half. Just show the difference between a wet or a broad and a dry or a narrow writing nib. And this is diamine. And it is meadow. But I do actually find that both things are actually really nice greens in their own right. Uh, the diamine apple glory I always find is a little bit brighter of a green though. The next green here is 
Monteverde and its Key Lime Pie. So we'll do an ink swatch. And you can see that this is a, a very, very bright green ink. And I have to say that if you want a neon green, and I have been liking neon green, this is a brilliant ink. So we'll do a second pass over the top half just to show the difference between a wet or a broad or a dry or a narrow writing nib. And this is Monteverde. And it is a key lime pie, uh, which is also a very nice dessert, I would I would say. And uh, that is a very nice bright green color. And I have been liking this a lot over the last year or so. The next ink here is Aurora and Klinger, and it is Verdura. So we'll do an ink swatch. Now, this is another green that uh, has been a go-to ink for me uh, more recently in the last six months. Uh, beautiful green ink. I'll do a second pass over the top half, just show the difference between a wet or a broad and a dry and a narrow writing nib. So that this is uh, Rora and Klinger. And it is uh, Verdura, which uh, for me is quite a nice green. It's a mid-green, I would say, but uh, quite a nice green. The next ink here is a Diamine Emerald. So we'll do an ink swatch. And this, I would certainly say, is more of a darker green. Uh, I've not actually used this one yet, though. But from what I can see here already of that ink swatch, uh, we'll do a second pass over the top half just to show the difference between a wet or a broad or a dry or a narrow writing nib. And, and I would say, as it's going on now, it almost looks a little bit more olivey to me. It'll be interesting to see how this one dries. So this is Diamine. And it is emerald. But I would definitely be interested to see how well that dries. Will it be a dark green, a mid green? We'll have to wait and see. And then the last ink here is a Diamine Ink Vent, a blue ink edition, uh, ink vent edition. And this is Diamine Mistletoe. So we'll do an ink swatch. And again, I would say, as this is going on, this does look a little bit more like uh, the uh, Diamine Emerald, actually. We'll do a second pass over the top half there. Just show the difference between a wet and a broad, or a dry and a narrow writing nib. And this is uh, Diamine Mistletoe. But that is another green ink that I use. I typically use it around the Christmas period. So I think let's now take a look at these inks now that they have dried. So the first ink here is uh, Diamine Apple Glory. And I have to say that this is a, a nice uh, green color, a bright green color. Uh, definitely a favorite of mine. Um, you can definitely see the difference between a wet and a dry writing nib or a broad or a fine writing nib can you see any shading going on there yes you can and i'll bring it up closer and you can see that shading in the pulled area is there any sheen though uh, i don't see any sheen on diamine apple glory typically you will not see sheen on lighter green inks you might see it on some darker green inks but not lighter green the next ink is Diamine Meadow. Now, this is again another favorite green of mine. Uh, can you see the difference between a wet and a dry or a broad and fine writing nib? Yes, you can. Uh, can you see pooling in the shade or can you see shading in the pooled areas? Yes, you can. And I will show you up close there. Now, can you see any sheen? You're not going to see any sheen there again. Green inks typically do not sheen that much. 
but I do like both of these inks. I like Diamond Apple Glory because it's it's kind of a crisp green coloured ink. Uh, but I also like Diamond Meadow. If I want something a little bit lighter, a little bit more punchy, I will go for Diamond Apple Glory. If I kind of want a regular midpoint green, uh, I will go for Diamond Meadow because it is uh, in a wet writing nib quite a, a sort of uh, mid to dark green. Uh, now, the next thing here is Monteverde Key Lime Pie. Now, this is a neon green uh, colored ink. Maybe not as uh, neon green as some uh, neon green inks. Uh, I, I know there is, um, I think it's Diamine Jade, which is quite neon green as well. Uh, but this is very bright green. So if you want something a little bit brighter than maybe Diamine Meadow or Diamine Apple Glory, this is the, the green to go for. Can you see the difference between a wet and a dry writing nib? Yes, you can. Can you see shading? There is shading in the pulled areas. Uh, can you see any sheen there? No, again, it, you're not going to get sheen. Or that, maybe there is some sheen on the writing sample. Um, it looks a little bit shiny, I should say. So maybe there's a little bit of a, a green sheen coming out there, but you're not seeing a red sheen, which is typically what you would see on a, Maybe a darker green uh, coloured ink. The next ink here is Aurora and Klinger, and this is a Verdura. Now, this is a mid green, I would say, a little bit with a hint of blue to it. Uh, can you see the difference between a wet and a dry writing nib, or a broad and a fine writing nib? Yes, you can. Can you see any shading going on? You can as well in the hauled area there. You can see shading. Not a huge amount, but you can see it. Is there any sheen? And I want to say, yes, there is a little bit of sheen around the edges of that pulled area. Again, you're not seeing it really in the writing sample, but uh, there might be a little bit of sheen there uh, if it goes on wet on Tomoe River paper. The next thing here is Diamine Emerald, and I have to say that this is more of a, a darkish olive green. Um, can you see the difference between a wet and a dry or a broad and a narrow writing nib? Yes, you definitely can. Is there shading going on? There is some shading around the pulled areas. Not a huge amount, no. Um, is there any sheen? Uh, again, I want to say that there's a slight shininess to the pulled area, but it's just not able to sheen. So it, I think it's trying to. It just hasn't got the properties to sheen. And then the last thing here is Diamine Mistletoe. Now, this is the uh, Blue Ink Vent edition uh, of the uh, um, ink. Now, can you see the difference between a wet and a dry writing nib? Well, you can a little bit, but not massively, not compared to, say, like Diamine Emerald. There definitely is a difference there, but not as much, I would say. Is there any shading going on? There's definitely shading in the pooled areas. And I'll show you that up close there as well. And is there any sheen? Uh, again, I want to say it's trying to sheen, but it's just not able to sheen. So again, you're not going to see a lot of green inks sheening. So there you have it. That's my green inks comparison number seven video. If there are any of these inks you like, let me know in the comments below. And likewise, if there are any other green inks that you would like me to check out, then do let me know in the comments below. So this is my green inks comparison number seven video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye bye.